from the Social Business Collaboration 2015 in Berlin. I'm here with Simona Radu, Director of Leadership and Employee Communications at Schneider Electric. Simona, uh, welcome to the conference. So Thank lovely you. to have you here. And Thank you very for much. Your time. <laughs> um, could you briefly introduce yourself and explain your professional background? So I am in charge of leadership and employee communication, as you said, at mm -hmm. Schneider Electric. Schneider Electric is a French company. Mm -hmm. uh, however, it's a global company because we have operations in 120 countries and an employee base of 170,000 employees. Mm -hmm. I have a background in economics, but my professional experience is around training, communication, and now I am in internal communication at Schneider. And you also presented a case study yesterday. Um, could you give us a brief overview of that? Yeah. So yesterday I was here actually with my colleague from IT, mm -hmm. so communications and IT coming together, and we talked about Spice Employee Portal. Spice Employee Portal, standing for uh, Schneider Platform for Information, Collaboration and Efficiency, is our intranet basically, mm -hmm. but it embeds the collaboration capabilities as well. So we talked about the journey. Uh, where we came from, how we set up the whole project, uh, what are the key functionalities of the portal, where we are today in terms of adoption, and what we plan to do further as well. It was a, a very interesting discussion and a lot of feedback yeah. received afterwards, a lot of questions, so very good experience. So now that you mention it, where are you in terms of adoption at the moment for your portal? Um, we're working on it. Mm -hmm. Schneider is a, is a huge organization and any change you know, takes time. However, as we go through the different, different stages, we see that users see the added value. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they spend a bit of time uh, looking at the portal or playing with the portal, seeing how it could create value for them, they adopt quickly. So we are now in a, in a campaign also of raising adoption using users' voice. So getting users to share their experience and how they're using the portal for the benefit of the other colleagues as well. So it's, it's ongoing. Okay. And how did you make your portal more user-friendly and did really tailor it to the individual so you could actually log in and see individual streams or individual logins? How yeah. Did you do that? I mean, we had the vision for a while now, mm -hmm. and we came from a lot of sites. We came from 120 sites minimum, and we wanted to move on one platform. So that takes a lot of, of preparation work, but also after the launch, in terms of migrating content, in terms of putting everything on one site, it, it takes a, a lot of effort from a lot of people. So it was really a a joint effort. However, we had the vision of personalizing it. We had some um, user uh, thinking tanks, if you want, before the launch, just to understand what the users would like, what they don't necessarily see added value in the old intranets, and how they see the future. So with that insight, we put in place a profile system that takes into account the fact that you are in a certain country or organization, and also if you're in an employee or managerial role, because we have some clear expectations and um, targeted communication for managers. So all of that created the profiling system, and also we have the personalization piece, allowing people to mark the tools, for example, that they use more commonly or that are pertinent to them. So all of, of this allows you to really have a, a space that talks to you and a space that yeah. can help you do your job easier, which is ultimately the goal. If you look at your portal now, are there any future challenges you might see, you know, foresee, or um, are there any further targets to have? Cast your portal for sure. To it, it, it's definitely not done. Uh, I actually heard today in one of the presentations saying that uh, we were not aiming for perfection. One of the companies was sharing that, and we did exactly the same. We didn't aim for perfection at launch. We always knew it was going to be a journey. That journey is not done right now. We're still going to continue to drive user adoption, to ask users what they prefer, what they want to have in the portal, and functionalities in this in this uh, domain change every day so we don't want it to become at any point obsolete so we continue to be very interested in bringing the best functionalities to it and one example i have for for the time being but of course moving forward we'll do more is on a b testing so we we narrow a bit the options that uh, people would look into just to get them to focus on mm -hmm. on one option or another and then we see which one works best and okay. then deploy for everyone so it's it's a step-by-step -step journey yeah Good, it sounds really interesting, still yeah. challenging. Exciting, for sure. <laughs> and exciting. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your insights, really appreciate that. And thank time. you. And thank you for the conference, very, very good insights, a lot of, of good practices, and it's yeah. a confirmation we're on the good track, so.
good. Nice to Any personal highlights from your side? Definitely. And I actually, I was yesterday in one of the roundtables. I was moderating um, and I did that last year as well. So it, it's always a good experience mm -hmm. to try to hold back any opinions that you have and, and get the other ones to share. So we talked yeah. about strategy, a lot on content strategy, editorial strategy, how to engage stakeholders, how to get them to contribute, and a lot of, of uh, the, the challenges expressed around the table again reconfirm that we are more or less facing the same challenges it's it's just that some of us are maybe a bit more advanced on the on the road and others uh, not so much so it's uh, it's always good to share that good well, thank you so much thank really you. appreciate that thank you very much